Damn, son, where'd you find this? Sounds brutal. It's gone straight through the hole in the ozone layer. <laughs> that must be a new hole, is it? <laughs> so warming. The hole in my ozone layer. I was just about to say, this reminds me of PNG. <laughs> I just got whacked that hard by a monster trip. Mud trap. Fuck, you done me. <laughs> Man, he absolutely smacked it. I'm like, this looks, I was just like, this looks a lot like PNG. You just get smacked that hard. Wow. What a, he's got a good rotation on him, eh? Oh, did it just shit? Yeah, man, that's rancid, eh? Oh, oh, what is that? I don't know, he's spitting stuff out. I'm getting rid of him. Sorry, you're not getting a hold up. This is your hold up. <laughs> Solid mud trout. Solid. Get out of here, stinky. All right, guys, welcome back. Well, we've had a pretty awesome day today. We've just come up uh, just for a bit of an explore, just to a new system I've never sort of been to. I brought Brock with me today, and it's uh, late in the Arvo now. We've had a couple of beers and cast up a couple of trees, but uh, yeah, we've had a pretty good day just um, having a bit of an explore and finding some fish. And uh, we do have two days here today. We've um, Book, to book some accommodation so we're heading back there now and uh, we're going to give it another crack tomorrow so i'm not going to keep talking i'm going to cut back to the fishing now i'm going to crack a beer and enjoy this sunset bloody amazing enjoy uh, i've got a hundred point sp you shallow a bit of bait coming up a lot of bait coming up actually, and some big swells in it. Probably a turtle. Okay. Where are you going first? Prawn. Don't know if that was a turtle. There's another odd boil that keeps popping up out wide here too. Bust ups on the inside. This is definitely where all the action's happening. I'm just stumped. I don't know which way to cast. I'll cast to the turtle first. <laughs> and then I'll cast to the other turtle. Oh yeah, it's definitely a turtle. Look at the size of it. <laughs> There's a lot going on in shallow here, man. I'm gonna go in. I reckon you can almost throw top water with this cloud cover, eh? Oh, yes, I've done it. Is that line rotating around. First fish of the day. It's the real trophy, mate. That one there. Back her up, let's go. Yeah, we can go home now. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'm thinking I might do it, man. I might throw top water. Come then. What have you got? You went to prawn? No, I went to Oh, wow, I just got whacked there. Is there something on the right there? 
<laughs> Turn it up. What do you got, mate? <laughs> Ooh, we didn't touch later, but it still counts. That's your first fish of the day, mate. How do you feel? <laughs> Top shelf. <laughs> Shit trifecta. <laughs> Big search and cast. Top water, let's go. Look, it's just constant bust ups on this point out here, eh? Just along that edge on the other side there. Look at it. It's just constant fish pushing. I just don't know how desirable they're going to be. There's a lot of like six inch mullet kicking around though, so. Oh, what was that? Definitely wasn't the target. He felt the hook, so. Oi. What do you got? I don't know. Solid's on. Proc solid. Fucking <laughs> 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 king. <laughs> didn't have a good colour, but. It didn't? Nah. Silver. I think that's a bit bigger too, Oh, don't. This is flaky heaven here. Yeah, I don't think we're going up this inside, eh? We will go and try and push out to where them everything's busting up, which is just up ahead. Let's see how we go. We're going off right out in that in the middle of that channel too, eh? Proper dredging it here. Yeah, it does all the way to the other side there. That's what makes me wonder what was busting up here. Platties. Look, they're still going out here. We ain't getting up on here, bro. I'm turning around now before we get stuck. We'll push back along and we'll go up to that. Um, the rocks on the headland, eh? <laughs> Definitely. There's not a lot of current here, which isn't exciting me much. This is probably a big tide spot. All right, I'm just going to run this little fella here. That's a point of 78 XD. You see me use them all the time. It's not a color I use a lot, but um, yeah, just thought I'd give it a go today. It's a little bit. A little bit cloudy today, it's a little bit dark in the shade there, so I'm thinking that this uh, this colour is going to put off a fair bit of contrast with the um, dark top and a little bit of a silver sort of belly, but still have that sort of semi-finesse presentation because it is a sort of ghost colour. So, yeah, a few people have been asking about how I'm running these um, these things, how I'm rigging them up. So, yeah, all I'm doing is number three, splitty on the back, four on the front. The reason for that is uh, just basically when I'm suspending it, because this will suspend like when it's rigged like this in the salt water. So when I'm suspending it, that front, slightly bigger ring on the front is gonna just hold it a lot more horizontal in the water. So I'm just recycling these, but that's in there. Uh, number six in the BKK Vipers. Um, yeah, they'll recycle from another trip. So I do take the splitty off the nose because that little tiny bit of weight, even though it's only like a fraction of a gram is enough to um, make the lure not suspend. So. Yeah, basically that's how I'm rigging them up. I'm going to put the hooks on this and I'm going to get in there. All right, so that's in there all rigged up. Should suspend nicely. I'm just running that with that uh, 30 pound leader. It's probably a very slow sink, but it's like very, very like six inches in five seconds or something. So yeah, I've just got that with the 30 pound leader. That's that um, stretchy fluoro that I've been using in a few of the recent videos. And then 30 pound um, Sunline Castaway on me little 100. Conquest with me 702. You see me use this combo all the time. It is my favorite. So 
I'm not going to apologize for using it a lot. Um, so yeah, basically, like you can see, just in here we've got, let's see if I can pull that off, nah, another meter or so, bit of a lay down coming in. So basically all we're doing is cruising along here. You can see it's quite a sharp drop off there. So just slow rolling them out, little pauses here and there, maybe a few rips if we feel like there might be some barra sitting on a snag. But uh, water's nice and clean, so I'm pretty keen to get started. So I'm going to stop talking and I'll get up on the nose and we're going to get serious. Might probably going to have to sit on about four and a half, I reckon, eh? I'm pushing against the tide and the wind here, so. Get mine. Already see bait getting towed up on this next snag. Oh, new lure needs a tune. <laughs> All right, for those that don't know, if, like, I just said the lure's out of tune. So basically it's just swimming to the right, so really simple to do. All I do is just grab the lure. If it's swimming towards me, I just grab the toe point. Just be careful not to pinch your leader. And it's just such a minute little twist across the opposite way. So just give it another little test swim next to the boat. She needs more. Yeah, sometimes you'll need to adjust it a few times, but uh, yeah, just you want it to be able to track at speed, nice and at it nice and straight. So swinging this way. Yeah, just taking that little bit of time when you're setting up. There we go, nice and true now. Brock's got a little plastic on. He's got what is that? A little half ounce weight with a four inch paddle tail. So, he has, doesn't have the caster range I do, but I do like to get in nice and close when I'm chasing Jackson Barry in the snags, just because a lot of, lot of line out is a um, disadvantage with these fish, because yeah, they've, the more line they got out, the more line they've got to arch around on. And when they arch around, that's when they get you around stuff, so. Not really as exciting as I thought it was along here, eh? sort of killing it so we might go shoot up and find something a bit more um, protected so right at the mouth now so we'll just cruise up a bit more and then see what happens big lay down here see it no it's a lay down that's I think that's the root base. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty cool, man. <laughs> that was cool, as. I just cast through there with this brown, and as soon as you put the white on it, it was on. What are you going to do? You want to net him? He's, he's all right, eh? What's he on? What, what, what? <laughs> That's why I put grip in there, bro. Nice. A little ratatouille. Yeah. Don't complain with that. That's the first decent fish of the day, so. He's in there, eh? He just popped straight out. Yeah, no. I was, um. I literally put two casts exactly there, man, from two different angles. That was pretty cool, bro. You! <laughs> ratatouille. <laughs> Get some bigger ones than that, bro. <laughs> Good on you, though. It's like the best fish for the day so far. It's not a cod. I don't know how far up we'll get the fish, but we'll keep going. Chalk and cheese, though. That this dark colour compared to that solid white, eh? Yeah. Heap of mullet getting chased there, man. That's what that was. Got hit in there. I didn't set the hooks on it, but he would have felt him. Yeah. But up in this sort of thing, man, if you find a good snag, it should hold multiples, eh? Oh, I don't care, but 
I just want to catch fish. We're out of the wind. That's all I really care about. <laughs> that wind was just killing me, bro. Eh? Taking all the fun out of it for me. <laughs> Trying to drive. This stuff up here is what I like, them real undercut banks. This is very sunny stuff, doesn't really, doesn't really do it for me, eh? Cracked? In behind it, eh? Yeah. You're right. You get another crack. Mm. On the wide, eh? white it works we'll push up another hundred meters see how it looks I don't really like this seaweed to be honest no it's just oh, there we go Nice Jack. Oh, nice Jack. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. They hit so hard, I love it, eh? <laughs> oh, it's too. Yeah. Solid little nuggy. That was no structure, just under that, that bit of shade, eh? So it's definitely worth, he was going back for that. So I'd so say they're just cruising along the edge in amongst that shade because that sun's really high at the moment. So it's all right. I'm confident in my colour choice now. All right, all right. <laughs> I was really doubting it. I was just about to say, I'm bracing for a shaking. Ah! Every time. Yeah, a little bit closer. His tail's still not. Ah! He's just being a dog. Red dog. Uh, red dog. All right, first one for the morning. Not huge, but. Definitely fought hard, that bite was pretty cool, so should be able to get an upgrade on him, hopefully. So, I'll just get these hooks out and he can go back home. So tall. You dog. One day one of them's gonna get me, eh? Get out of here. Ooh, cheers, bro. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I only cast up the tree trying to see a cod. <laughs> Snag in the middle here. See? Mm. Who would have thought that would have something on it, eh? What was that? You're coming up from a mile out, yeah? it was fast. I think it was just a small jack, eh? I'm hoping this corner just holds a bit more water and if not, we'll get out and we'll go and reassess our situation, mate. Jack and a barrow to start, it's all right. 
first time in a new creek, you can't really complain. The downside to this bank is there's a lot of sun on it. But you almost need the, the logs for the fish to have something. Oh, that was definitely very sluggish. Thought it hit the rocks. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. <laughs> This little edge with this cod here, this pike is here. Cod here, there's water here. <laughs> what are your thoughts on black hooks versus silver? Oh, I'm not right. <laughs> I'll rate the silver A in salt water. Appearance. I like that silver. Oy, that's a decent mud trout. <laughs> that's a proper mud trout. <laughs> Little black spot. You right to sling him, eh? Yeah, mate. <laughs> you want a photo? Not really. Mud trout bend. He's <laughs> like hiding, holding the fish <laughs> behind you. <laughs> He's actually really cool. Good blackie. Yeah. Yeah, hold him up real quick. That's a bad. Ugh. Slippery as dogs. Try and just calm, mate. I'm going to use quality mud trout, mate. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, mate. <laughs> Best five of the day. <laughs> That's what dreams are made of. <laughs> oh yes, nice cod. <laughs> he flew out, bro. <laughs> oh, get his mate. That's a jack. It's a jack. It's a jack. Quick, move it fast. Wind, 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 wind. If you can pull that off, yep, you're gonna get him. <laughs> no. One piece of structure in that 50 meters, I'll get the cod. You ruined my day. <laughs> last time I, last time I wrangled one of these, I got hooks in the hand. So let's see what happens. Ugh. I just stopped it so you can get a, a few more shots at it. This is how he got me. Don't come back. Man, that was so disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Same fish. <laughs> Black spot. Relax. Hey. Perfect timing. There you go. Would you say not even a cod? Hey. There'll be a cod in that crab pot. That's for sure. Yeah, it's just shallow and crap, isn't it? Go back and have a quick look at them barra, and then if not, we'll go and have a look at that other creek. All right, you can see that. There's a big school of barra there. That's the lead in front of the start of the school, so you can sort of see, but basically they're right through there. You can see them on the side scan now. We just drifted down the downstream side, so we're going to sit back here, and as you can see from the side scan up the top, they're sitting at about probably 15 to 20 metres upstream, so... I'm hoping we haven't spooked the school, but we're gonna sit back here and we're gonna just pepper our way up through there. That's, most of the fish are sitting at about three meters, so not sure what to throw at them just yet, but I might have a little look and see what I got. All right, decided to go that one there. That's a new Molex 120 
a little bit rusty hooks but I'm a bit impatient so don't know how this brown brownie gold color is going to go but I'm going to give it a crack it's the only one I've got in this 120 size and Brock's just going to throw a little hundred so between the two we should sort of work out if they want big or small or nothing at all if I don't get a bite on this I've got a couple of six meter diver timbers there I'm going to throw in so we'll give him a crack and uh see how we go might try cast a little bit wider next big school of fish man I'm thinking in these dull conditions, man, like a white lure is probably going to be our best option, eh? Clean water, something to really contrast with the conditions. I'm going to see what I've got in that six metre diver in a second. The amount of fish there, I was kind of expecting first cast just to get whacked. I'll give it one or two more and then I'm going to switch over. I don't know if that was the bottom or if that was a fish. Nah, bottom. Gonna leave it stuck on the bottom. <laughs> He's looking at it. Can you come back. Where'd he go? This is teabagging to the next level, eh? Nice it is. Going away there in front of us, bro. They're just there. So let's have a little look at this. You should see the lure go, come down. That one definitely come over for a good look, eh? I don't know if you did. All right, so yeah, that's us. We're uh, cruising back now. We've got a couple of beers in our hand, enjoying the sunset, but uh, we got this bit of a rain system coming through, so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. We we're sort of hoping the fish would fire today, but uh, by the looks of the, the sky now, we should be okay. I'm gonna really hope that we don't um, get swamped tomorrow and not be able to fish, but yeah, we found some cool stuff as you've seen there, but tomorrow's the day we're going to give them a proper nudge. So I'm going to get out of here, go and get a beer. Thanks for watching. While you're here, if you haven't already done it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Peace.